and welcome to my channel. Today I'm sharing two farmhouse trash to treasure DIYs. Uh, the supplies are all stuff I had on hand and I am just upcycling it. So let's get started. For this very first project I am using this um, a wood piece that came from a uh, spice rack that I upcycled a while back as well as some uh, pieces of wood that I cut up into pieces, some stain, a chain, a little hooks, and then a couple um, different color chalk paint colors from any Sloan. I have the Chateau Grey, I have Coco, I think it's called Coco, uh, and I have a Old White. So the first thing that I did is I sanded these pieces down because I did cut them into little pieces and they were a little rough. It's just pallet wood that I've had uh, left over from a different project. So like I said, all of these are trash to treasure upcycles from things that could have gone into garbage but I decided to recreate something new out of them. I would also like to mention that this uh, video is part of a challenge that is hosted by Heidi Sample over on her DIY channel. I will have her channel linked down below as well as the playlist. For so make sure you check that playlist out after you are finished watching my video. So the, once all the pieces were sanded down, I move on to staining them. I just wanted a very light coverage of this stain. Uh, I am not bothering with the other side too much because that's going to be against the wall and nobody will really see it. Uh, at this stain I have gotten at a local dollar store called Your Dollar Store with more or and more and it has lasted me like forever. I've used it on so many different projects and I absolutely love it. Unfortunately when I did go back they did not have another stain like that. Uh, they were all out I hope that um, maybe next time when I go they will have them again. While the stain is drying on those pieces of wood, next step that I do is uh, paint this uh, piece of a round piece of wood. Originally, I was going to use a spindle, but then I remembered I had one of these, and I thought this would have been perfect without ne no need to cut. So I'm just layering all the different chalk paints just to give me that um, kind of a country French stain look that I've been going after on a couple of my projects. Uh, I really enjoy the way that looks and I think it, it adds um, just a little different spin to my farmhouse decor. I proceeded to gluing the pieces together. You can use wood glue or you can just simply um, use hot glue, which is what I did. Um, and you want to stagger them. You don't want them to be in line. At least I didn't want to. Once all the pieces will glue together, I take my chalkboard uh, marker and uh, write out family. You can also use your Cricut machine, but I just wanted to show you an easy way to add the letters using a Dollar Tree chalk marker.
I am um, screwing in the little hook part of the chain. Uh, I did cut the chain in half uh, just so I have uh, equal uh, lengths on both of them. And um, unfortunately, as you will see, I could not um, attach the uh, hook onto the big round piece. It was the wood was just too hard, and I did not have a drill bit that was um, small enough for these hooks. So I would recommend using a drill bit, uh, drill a hole, and then just screw that in. But like I said, I didn't have one, uh, and I was in the middle of the project, so I just ended up glue, glue, hot gluing it on, which works. It, it is hanging. It's been hanging for a while. It hasn't fallen off, but I would recommend just drilling a little hole and then um, screwing the little pieces in. That will give you a more of a permanent hole. I think it turned out really nice and it gives it that rustic farmhouse look and it will look great in your decor or my decor for my next project I have had this vase or a bottle for a while and wasn't really using it it has a nautical look to it so I decided to uh, upcycle it. I've seen my friend Angie from Sweet Home Heaven um, uh, do this to one of her vases and I thought it looked really good. If you wanna check her out, she's over on the Instagram. And um, so for this project, you will need some sort of a black chalk paint. I am using Athenian black. Uh, you could use graphite as well. I just really wanted it to be black black and Athenian black is really black black paint. So um, and it's like I said it's any Sloan. It does not have to be any Sloan paint. It is just what I have on hand. So the first thing I do is I remove this nautical uh, part but I leave the lip part on, so all that um, rope that's wrapped up around the top part, I leave it on. And now it's time to paint it. This has taken me two coats of paint. I would also like to say, if this is your first time stopping by my channel, welcome. My name is Sonia and this is my DIY channel where you will find Trash to Treasure Upcycles, Dollar Store, uh, DIYs as well as, as well as furniture makeovers. So if this is something that interests you, uh, make sure you press that subscribe button and a notification bell so you don't miss out any of my uploads. I also have some exciting news. I have just posted my first vlog over on my brand new channel uh, my life with domestic diva so life with DD, and um, I just felt like I needed um, that was the part that was missing once I separated my channel into different channels and I love sharing little bits and pieces of my life with you and kind of taking you along through my process of YouTube um, my life with teenagers and two big dogs and like I said, I just wanted to uh, get that connection back. So if you would like to check that out, make sure you head on over to my description box where you will find links to all of my channels. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. And even when the sun begins to shine again, I've taken all the advice there is and none of it has helped. I'm so tired of love.
So once these two coats have completely dried, I add soft clear wax. It is a finishing wax and I just love what, how this had transformed this it just um, made it look more like leathery gave it a little bit more texture and I am super pleased with the way this turned out So this looks great with some eucalyptus leaves but if you are after that black and white farmhouse look make sure you make over one uh, one of your vases into this it will be a great addition to your decor well i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up don't forget to press the subscribe button and i will see you all in my video and also don't forget to check out heidi's channel as well as the playlist linked in the description box Thank you.